Welcome to another math class. Now look at this challenge before us here. This is a very simple challenge. It's a very simple math problem. But how do we solve and verify the use? Again, one of the reasons why I decided to bring this challenge is this. If you look at this question straightforward, you can tell that 10 is one of the roots. But here we have this all to the power of 4. So what does that imply? It means we have to solve for 4 roots. So how do we get the other 4 the other three roots to this challenge that is the essence of this video and how to verify all four roots if they will satisfy the original equation because for sure we're going to have two real roots and two imaginary roots okay so sit back as we go to this challenge all right so we take our solution as usual all right now seeing what we have here as a power of four we can bring out power of 2 from this. From here, let's write the equation first. So we're going to have this to be our x minus 3 all to the power of 2, or in bracket, all raised to the power of 2. This is equal to our 7 to the power of 2, or in bracket, all raised to the power of 2. Why? Because we know that if you have your, your a all to the power of m, n, this is equal to your a to the power of m, or in bracket, or to the power of n, which is the same thing as your e to the power of your n, or in bracket, back to our m here. This is what I just applied here now. Okay, so if I use this to multiply this, it will give me 4. And if I use this to multiply this, it will give me 4 also. So after we've rewritten everything we have here, let's move this to the side of this equation, because since we are having the power of Two, what comes to mind is either sum of two square or difference of two square. So, but let's move this to this side and see what this gives us. So, we're going to have this to be bracket between our x minus 3 or close or to the power of 2 into our square bracket of power 2, then minus bracket between 7 to the power of 2, close bracket or to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. So, which of the law are we looking at here? Is it difference of two square or sum of two square? This is difference of two square. Now, what does it say? It says that if you have your, let's take our a here to the power of two, then minus our b to the power of two, this is equal to your a minus b, close bracket, bracket, your a plus b. We remember this, this is our call difference of two square. Okay? So, with x, Look at what we are having here now. The quantity we have inside here is our A, and the quantity we have inside this bracket is our B. So we can rewrite this original equation in this format. So simplifying this in this format, this will now give us here our bracket up in. We said our A is everything inside here. So we're going to have x and minus 3 out of the power of 2, which is our A. Presenting this, then minus our 7, so our b is our 7 to the power of 2, so we have here 7 to the power of 2. We're going to put this in a square bracket, then into another square bracket. What is our a? Look at our a here again, so we have bracket x minus 3 out to the power of 2, then this time we have plus, what is our b? Our b is 7, so no need putting this in brackets. So 7 out of the power of 2 to our square bracket, then everything to the power equal to 0, rather. Okay, so if we have this, we apply another rule, which is called the zero product rule. And what does it say? It says that if you have your a times your b equal to 0, this now implies that our a is equal to 0 or our b is equal to 0. This is another special rule, again, that you ought to know. Another special rule you ought to know. Okay? Now, so we can equate this to zero, equate this to zero. Right? So let's go ahead and take the first case here. So we have here case one. What is our case one? We have our x minus three all to the power of two minus seven to the power of two. This is equal to our zero. Yeah. So what we do here. We can open up what we have inside this bracket here. Okay, although we can use the difference of two squared to handle this again. 
but let's simplify this and see what this gives us. So if we open this, this is going to give us our s to the power of 2, then this is going to give us minus 6x, then here we have plus our 9, then minus 7 to the power of four, 2 will give us 49. This is equal to 0. You know, see the reason why I said in one of my videos that minus 7 or any number to the power of 2 is different from bracket open minus that number close bracket all to the power of 2. Here, the minus is not affected yet. Okay? All right. So, let's continue. Now, we can do this arithmetic here. So, let's continue on this side of the bird and see what this gives us. So, this is going to give us our x to the power of 2, then minus our 6x, then plus my minus 40. Now, will give us minus 40. So, I have minus 40 equal to 0. So, this is a quadratic equation. We can solve this quadratically, right? Good. Using the factorization method. So we bring out all the factors of 40, and among the factors of 40, we pick two of them that when we multiply together, we give us minus 40. Add that together, we give us minus 6x. So from here, that will give us um, plus 4 and um, minus 10. Plus 4 minus 10 will give us that. So we're going to have here s to the power of 2, we have plus 4x minus 10x. Minus 40, this is equal to 0. So we can put this in bracket, then put this in bracket. What is common here is just x, so we have here x into x squared will give us x plus x into 4 x will give us 4 plus bracket minus. What is common here is 10, then bracket this into 10s will give us our x minus times minus will give us our plus, then 10 into our 40 will give us our 4 is equal to zero. So you discover the term we have in the bracket at the same. So we take one of them and this, this outside. So this will now give us our x minus 10 bracket, our x plus 4, everything equal to zero. Again, we apply the zero product rule, which we look at here now. Okay, so applying the zero product rule, this is going to give us our x minus 10 is equal to zero, or we have our x plus or is equal to zero. So this will now give us our x1 equal to positive 10 and our x2 will give us minus 4. All right. Now this is what I said the other time. That when you solve, you're going to have the first answer is going to be 10 just by many looking at this expression here now. Okay. And again, I, I pointed to your understanding that here we have the power of 4. And so Four root are to come out from this place, but one of them is the 10. And look at the 10 we have here. So we've gotten this and another root again this. So how do we get the imaginary root? Because these are real roots. So we take our case 2 from here. Look at our case 2 here now. We want to take the positive part of this. So let's take our case 2. Case 2. Here we have bracket open our x minus 3 plus bracket all to the power of 2. Right there, plus our 7 to the power of 2 equal to 0. Again, we open up this. So opening up this is not a problem. So this is going to give us here our x to the power of 2 minus 6x there plus our 9 there plus our uh, 7 to the power of 2 give us 49. Everything equal to 0. So we can add this to this to give us 58. So we have our s to the power of 2 minus 6x plus 58. This is equal to 0. So what we do here now, again, this is a quadratic equation. So we have to solve this quadratically. But here we cannot use the factorization method. So we want to use the, um, um, the formula method here. Okay, so using the formula method, let's say here, using the formula method, using the formula method so they are using the formula method so let's take our formula on this other side now so let's continue here again so what is our formula we have our x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of our b squared minus 4 ac right everything here all over 2a 
So what is our a? Our a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Our b is the coefficient of x, which is minus 6. And our c is the constant term, which is 58. So here we have here 58. So substituting, we're going to have here minus bracket minus 6 plus minus the square root of our minus 6 all to the power of 2 then minus 4 times our 1 times 58 everything all over 2 times 1 so this will give us 6 because minus times minus will give us plus so we now have here plus minus here okay so the square root the square of minus 6 will give us 36, then minus 4 times 1 will give us 4, 4 times 8 will give us 32, so let's put down to here, carry 3, 4 times 5 will give us 20, plus the 3 you carry, so that gives us 23, everything all over 2. Okay, so this is equal to, so we cannot simplify this, this is going to give us 6 plus minus if we subtract this from this, can I borrow one from here? So here we'll let it two. So six from twelve will give us our six. Then here we have two left. So three from two can I borrow one from here? Here you have one left and bring it here to give us our twelve. So three from our twelve will give us our nine year. Then here we are left with what? Just um uh, one. Yeah, we are left with one year. So this gives us one. So this gives us minus. 196 all over 2, which is equal to we have our 6 plus minus. Yeah, we can split this to give us here the square root of 196 times the square root of minus 1 all over 2. Now remember that the square root of minus 1 is equal to iota. So we can bring that iota here, and the square root of 196 is. um. 14 okay so we can rewrite everything here to be our uh, 6 plus minus um our 14 iota all over 2. now look at what we have here two are going to this two are going to this so if we simplify two out we're going to have two into two into six will give us three plus minus two into 14 will give us seven iota close bracket all over our two years so this this value so we now have our x down here to be our x will now be equal to here we're going to have three plus minus seven iota now in all here we have x2 and x3 so in all let's bring out the four roots to this challenge here now so let's continue on this side all right so from here let's bring out all the um, four root because here we have x3 and x4. So we have our x1 will now be equal to, we solve this to be 10, then x2 we have it to be minus 4. x3 is now the first one we take the positive 3 plus 7 iota, and x4 is your 3 minus 7 iota. All right, so these are the four roots. First one, second one, third one, and the fourth one. Okay, so we can do a simple check for the first two. So let's take a simple check here for the first two. We have x equal to 10. So all we just need to do here is just to put our 10 here minus 3 all to the power of 4 equal to our um, 7 to the power of 4. So 3 from 10 will give us 7 to the power of 4 equal to 7 to the power of 4. So it shows that the first root is correct. Now let's look at the second root here now. So we're going to have here our x is minus 4. So we have here minus 4 minus 3 all to the power of 4 equal to 7 to the power of 4. So minus 4 minus 3 will give us minus 7 all to the power of 4. This is equal to 7 to the power of 4. So, you know 
This is the same thing as what we have here could be written as minus 1 to the power of 4, then times 7 to the power of 4. This is equal to 7 to the power of 4. Okay, so let's just put it here, the final answer here now. So you discover that minus 1 to the power of 4 will give us 1. So we are left with 1 times uh, 7 to the power of 4. So this will end up giving us 7 to the power of 4. Let's erase this. Oh, sorry, I just have to manage this space. This is equal to our 7 to the power of 4. So you discover that the second root also satisfies the original equation. But here we have the imaginary root. So how to leave that? But again, if you want me to make a video on how to verify this from this question, then drop it in the comment section. Once I see a good number of persons that actually want me to verify these other two imaginary roots, I will make a video on how to verify these imaginary roots here. So this brings us to the end of this math shelly. Thanks for being there all the time. Thanks for watching online mass TV. Keep watching online mass TV. Until we meet you in our next class, keep winning. And remember that Jake's loves you dearly. Bye for the now.